What's up, David Nation? Hope you all are doing well. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make my house famous breakfast burrito. You can substitute ingredients if you would like, but this is how I personally make it. I hope you all enjoy. Let's get right to it. So, cooking can take a bit of time. Normally, it takes about an hour to make. So, let's start, shall we? Okay, so here are all of my ingredients. I'm not the most organized right now, but I personally like to use eggs, uh, butter for the eggs, hash browns, cheese, tortillas, and breakfast meal choice today. We're gonna to be using a sausage. I cooked this about a week ago, but it's been in Tupperware for about maybe nine days. I don't know. Fine. Okay, I just put tons of random pots and pans on the stove, but first you're probably going to start with the egg. So let's turn this knob on. We'll have that medium for now. Uh, we're going to want to add the butter. So I'm using Blue Bonnet butter substitute because I cannot find real butter. So you'll want to put the butter on the pan. So that way the egg does not stick to the pan as well. If it does, that's more of an inconvenience for you for cleaning up. As you can see, the butter does start to brown. So what you want to do is you want to take an egg and to crack it. I'm going to put my thumb down so that way I can actually place the egg on the pan. Okay, so you want to place the egg in the pan. I like to do it sunny side up. I'll explain why later in the video. Oh uh, yeah, we'll let that egg cook for a bit. In the meantime, we'll try and cook the hash browns too. Okay, so while the egg cooks, you're going to turn on the stove for hash browns. Put the stove on medium. And pour some olive oil in the pan. The oil will splatter so be prepared to get burned. That's the part I least enjoy about this process, the pain it takes. I'm not just a wall, but oil cooks are going to want to pour in some of the hash browns. Yeah, that looks like enough. Spray it around in the pan so that way they can get more brown. While all of that cooks, next you're going to want to take your tortilla and start making the actual burrito. The tortillas I'm using are flour tortillas from Walmart. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a spatula take the egg from the pan and put it on the tortilla. So I like to fry my egg and not scramble it, so that way the yolk will cook in the oven, which we will get to in a bit. So what we can also do in the meantime is take our sausage and cut it up. Okay, so we're just gonna take the sausage and put it on the tortilla. That would also be a good time to flip our hash browns. Okay, now would be a good time to put the cheese on the burrito. So again, just take the cheese out with your hands, sprinkle it around, and then you're good to put the cheese away. So I personally like a little spice my food. So what I'll do is I'll add a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, a little bit of oregano, and a bit of Old Bay as well. While the hash browns are cooking, now would be a good time to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. The earlier you preheat your oven, the faster the process would be. If you forget to preheat the oven at the beginning, it just takes more time, which normally you would be eating the breakfast burrito for breakfast, so that may put a damper in your day. Okay, we may have cooked the hash browns for a bit too long, so let's move them aside so that way the oil can stop cooking them. You know what, I don't care at this point. So then we'll just try to maneuver the hash browns onto the burrito. Not all of them will fit on, I use a very small tortilla. But, yeah, good enough I guess. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff on this burrito. I don't know how I'm gonna fold it. I'm terrible at this part especially because the tortilla is so small, but you're going to attempt to fold it. The way I was taught how to fold it when I worked at a place that made burritos, you got all your ingredients on one side. That's going to be a little hard to do, but you don't want to fold it together. You don't want to roll it up. Yeah. 
Oh, look at all that egg falling out. That's disgusting. Mmm, yummy. Okay, so there you have the folded burrito. So next, you're going to want to attempt to transfer the burrito onto something quicker. And I have this stoneware type of thing. So we're going to pick it up. I don't even know if it's closed all the way. Oh my gosh. Yum. So we're going to put it on here. Then we're going to put it in the oven. We'll see how that goes. Okay, the oven is done free heating. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open the oven. And you're going to want to place the burrito in the oven. Close the oven door. And let's set a timer for, let's say 10 minutes. That way it'll give enough time for the burrito to cook. The tortilla will be a little crunchy and the egg will be a little baked as well. So that way you won't have a runny milk. Okay, so now it should be done. Yeah, as you can see some of the grease without the burrito, that's okay. There's the burrito. Smells good, it smells good. It smells good. Maybe not as full green as well as it could be, but it still gets the job done. Okay, so I have somewhere to be in 15 minutes, and I'm going to Waffle House after that, so I will eat the burrito tomorrow.